It's not typical for me to spend Wednesday nights in the Ministry of Sound, or indeed any night if truth be told, but it seems to be an appropriate place for the launch of a range of audio devices. While the name at the front of the speakers and headsets may be Ministry of Sound, the company behind them is actually British smartphone maker Bullet, which is carving out an unlikely success story by finding brands to take into the technology sector. In a smartphone market where innovation stalled, Bullet is betting that consumers will pick their devices based on brand identity as much as any technological advancement. Companies like Apple have already benefited as brands that stand for innovation, but Bullet is creating new niches based on already well-established global names. It then develops, manufactures and sells the products to consumers looking for something a bit different. Given that, you know, particularly in mobile phones, for example, people are reaching a plateau when it comes to technology. It's all about chipsets, screen sizes, and I think that's, that's really levelling off. So what we're trying to do is look at the market in manageable chunks. This for sound means, it means something to an older segment, it means something to a younger segment. The older segment is the people who have experienced the club back, you know, who are now in their 40s, um, who are less more likely to be sort of renting a villa in Ibiza up in the hills now than hitting the club here, but they have a nostalgia for the brand. And, and the brand, I mean, it's, it's quite glamorous in that respect. The younger audience have maybe experienced it through the music, uh, the compilation records. Two distinct sort of user groups, tribes of people, if you like, who, uh, who want that brand promise and that experience. The devices themselves are as good as you might expect from such a premium brand clear, crisp sound, smooth, lozenge-like designs, which would look fantastic in a home in Ibiza, for example. And, you know, relatively affordable prices as well. But really, nothing that will make anyone gasp in amazement in terms of the innovation or technology it show. But that's not what Bullet does. This is about brand value. The company has already struck up successful partnerships with Kodak to make simple devices for an older generation that remembers its cameras well and the Cat Machinery brand to make durable, rugged phones. Both brands already have a developed audience to sell to. In this case, it is taking Ministry of Sound into a natural area in audio products, even if the nightclub's name is not quite as cutting edge as it once was. Headphones is really fashion driven as well. You've seen that with the, you know, the Beats effects over the last few years. People trading up their kind of white Apple headphones that they got with their smartphone, you know, or their, you know, their iPod to actually get a, you know, a fashion brand that's really important. Sometimes you know, brands are more important than the actual, the actual technology and the actual quality of the, the audio that people are listening to. I don't think the Ministry of Sound brand is aimed at the mass market. It's obviously aimed at people who have that heritage who went to the Ministry of Sound nightclub. Uh, and it needs to attract younger people to get into, into the brand as well. So I don't think it's a mass market. And the, you know, the prices aren't particularly mass market either. So it's targeted it more of a niche sector. So it's, it's, got, you know, it's got a limited appeal to certain members of the community. Bullet's strategy appears to be working. Turnover has more than doubled year on year since its foundation in 2009 to now reach almost $100 million. Every year, Bullet has taken on at least one brand to try and develop a new market segment. The devices themselves are hardly going to blow anyone away with their innovation. But the idea that people want to identify with what they carry in their pockets is an interesting take on an otherwise moribund technology sector. And who knows, maybe even the FT could one day put its own spin on the technology product market itself. Daniel Thomas, Financial Times, Ministry of Sound.